Hello, and welcome to Rubles Rambles here at the Maycomer Center. So this week on Friday, there's going to be the full moon. Uh, since Saturn is almost at opposition, which I'll talk about more next week, um, the full moon and Saturn are going to be very close together. So on Friday night, if you go out around 9.45 or 10, because sunset's so late, that's how long it takes for like it to get night. Or whenever you see the full moon, if you look below it and a bit to the right, you should be able to see Saturn, which will be by far the brightest thing in that area. Um, the full moon may look a lot bigger than Saturn, seeing as Saturn looks like a tiny point of light, but of course that's because it's so much closer, where it is practically in our backyard and it would take a few days to get to it. Saturn, at the same like speed it would take to go to the moon, would take a few years to get to. So it's just incredibly big, but incredibly far away. Uh, it's far, Saturn's far bigger than the Earth. Um, but if you look uh, in like the southwest part of the sky, the brightest thing over there will be the biggest planet, Jupiter. Um, so if you can, if you can look on a not full moon night, you can still see Saturn and Jupiter, but the moon won't be as good a guide to Saturn, but it'll still be the brightest thing in like the southeast at around that time. Saturn is actually not very dense, and if you could somehow put it in a giant pool of water, it would float because it's less dense than water. So that's just kind of a funny image, Saturn floating in a giant bathtub. Um, so yeah, definitely go look for Jupiter, Saturn, the moon, and if it's clear, you feel free to Google the International Space Station and find when it passes because that will be really cool as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any trouble finding any of these things, uh, don't hesitate to ask.